I'm always looking to improve my running, and if that can be made easier by using some sort of device or gadget, I'm all for trying it. Enter the VVBO Pro, a vibration plate that gives you a full workout. Now, I know what you're thinking. I was skeptical too at first when I saw it, but I really think there's something to it. So let me explain how the VVBO Pro could actually make a difference in your run training. First of all, I'm not getting paid by the company to make this video. They did send me a VVBO Pro to test out, but I'm sharing my own opinion about the machine because I feel that the only good review is an honest one. So uh, with that out of the way, let's get to the VVBO Pro. I first came across the VVBO Pro at a convention back when we still had those. Now, I was very skeptical, but the salesperson urged me to get on and just give it a try. We talked for a while while I was on the machine and all I did was just stand on it and bend through my knees just a little bit as he turned up the speed. Uh, I was on there for about 10 minutes as we just talked about my marathon training. Now, even though I didn't spend much time there and I was well trained, I walked away with muscle ache in my legs. So I figured there has to be something to this. The Vivibo Pro is an oscillating vibration plate, which means that it moves up and down as well as that it vibrates. The vibrating can give relaxation to the muscles, it can help with blood circulation and improve the metabolism. The oscillation helps with strengthening the joints, it stimulates the muscles, and is said to help with bone density. Vibration therapy has been used for astronauts and Olympians to improve muscle and bone density since the 1960s. So with that in mind, my curiosity was piqued and I wanted to try this out for myself. So the claim is that the machine can help you gain muscle mass, it can help you lose weight, it can help you with recovery of injuries, and it can help you relax. So I wanted to test this out and see how my run training could benefit from using the Vivibo Pro. I've used it for 30 days now, and I must say, I've been surprised in a couple of different ways. The Vivibo Pro has four different training settings, and the oscillating and vibration also has four settings, ranging from a light shake to hold onto your hat because you're in for a ride. It also comes with a remote for easy changing of the functions while you're on the machine and uh, an attachment seat for specific exercises and two resistance bands. Now, of course, you can just stand on it and squat a little bit to get an effect from the Vivibo Pro, but in order to get the full effect and get a good workout, there are a bunch of exercises that you can do. The manual shows you all the different positions and exercises that you could perform, but it also comes with a USB stick that has three workout sessions on it, a beginner, intermediate, and advanced session. Now this is where the real benefit of the machine comes in. Uh, in order to get results, you need to put in a little bit of effort for your workout. But all three workouts are only 10 minutes long and you just have to follow along with the video. I wasn't sure how hard it was going to be, so I started with the beginner video and at a, a low training level. Now the exercises were pretty straightforward and were easy to perform. I didn't really feel like I was doing all that much, but later in the day, I could already feel it in my glutes. So uh, there was a bit of muscle ache could prove that it was doing something already. I continued with the beginner video for a couple of days and then moved on to the intermediate for a few days, all still at training level one just to get used to it. Now, after a week, it was time to start playing with the different levels and I came to the conclusion that level three was most comfortable for me. Uh, it made it hard enough to get a good workout and level four, it, it just was shaking me too much, especially with the, like the planking exercises. The advanced workout felt like a good workout, but I have an issue with my hands that makes the, the planking and push-up exercises a bit painful. So I actually prefer the intermediate video. It has those exercises too, but uh, less and shorter. So uh, that wasn't as tough on my hands. Before every session, I would start with the warm-up setting and just stand on it for 10 minutes to loosen up the muscles. I actually really came to enjoy that part. And I think that could be a great way to warm up your legs before going out on your run. There's also a setting for relaxing. Now for this, you can just sit down on a chair or uh, on your couch and put your feet on the Vivibo Pro to let it softly shake your legs. Uh, is a great way to recover after your workout or your run. I'm not big on massages at all, but uh, I can honestly say that I actually enjoyed the relax setting and just having my legs shaken loose by the Vivibo. The rest of the month, I kept switching the training videos and playing with the speed and vibration. Now the workout video is mostly the same, but the effort of the workout always different. So did I notice any progress? Is it worth the time and effort for your training? Uh, like I said, the warm up function for me was already a good experience. Uh, I would just stand on it for 10 minutes, uh, have a video on TV and just wait until the 10 minutes were up to start my workout. Uh, for the workout, like any other workout goes, that uh, you get out of it what you put into it. Meaning that uh, you can do squats, bend through your knees, or you can really do squats and go as low as you can go. Now, make the workout hard for yourself and the machine will work hard for you. 
that there were a few times that I really felt it in my legs afterwards. So yeah, it, it was working for me. Now, uh, it doesn't replace all other workouts, but it gives you a great basic workout uh, that includes your legs and your core, which is important for runners. Now for me, seeing that I was dealing with a knee injury, uh, I had to rest and I couldn't go running all that much. So uh, having something that gives my legs a workout without the strain that running would put on it, that was really great. The Vifibo Pro is a great asset to add to your training, uh, to use as a substitute when you're injured, uh, as a recovery tool or for uh, loosening up the muscles before you go out on your run. The machine is a bit on the heavy side, but if you just leave it in one place and that doesn't matter. Uh, the price point of the machine is a bit higher than some of the competitors, but this is also because most other machines just have the vibrating function and not the oscillating function, which makes a big difference in the Vivibo Pro. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check it out, if you're interested in getting one. Uh, the company is based in the Netherlands, but they do ship worldwide for free. Uh, the only thing is their website is in Dutch, so try and use Google Translate if you can read Dutch. Mm -hmm. I love having a way to train even when I'm not able to run, so for me it's a great addition to my workout equipment and also a great way to speed up my healing process. Mm -hmm. Until next time, get out there and run.